Uh, hey everyone. Uh, oh. Hey everyone, I'm Jared Samuels, and uh, I just wanted to tell a little bit about my own brain injury story and how I started helping Team Luke Hope for Minds. Um, back about four years ago, when I was a sophomore in high school, I was helping a friend out at my own high school, uh, carrying items from one side of the field to this little shed on the other side of the football field. And um, we were using a mule and I was thrown off that mule. I hit my head on the track and I had two brain bleeds and a skull fracture. I had an impact seizure. Um, I actually woke up on the field and called my, well, called two people, but one of them was my mom. And she took me to the hospital or uh, like a little urgent care place. And then it was there that I found out, you know, the extent of my injuries. And I uh, believe I went to ambulance and then went to a coma. Um, I stopped breathing and went to a coma for about a day, I think. Uh, the timing's a little fuzzy now. But um, when I woke up, I was in bed. I had horrible headaches. I uh, couldn't walk. So over a period of a few weeks and then a, a few months um, from inpatient and then eventually outpatient rehab, I slowly started to feel better again. Um, one thing I you know, talk about is they made us walk around the hospital floor and I couldn't, uh, it took me, I think like six minutes, something, something crazy long for me to just walk one lap around the floor. Um, but over time through rehab and all the people at St. David's, I slowly started to get better. Um, and I definitely, you know, the night it happened, uh, they basically told my parents, you know, this could go either way. Um, you know, you may not see him again, which is <laughs> hard to think about now. Um, but, you know, slowly over time, I have definitely improved. Um, it was good to see all the support. You know, I run a, a help team look with a podcast and talking to other people like me. I'll talk about the importance of support. And I definitely had a lot of support from family and friends through that whole process of where, you know, I had horrible headaches where I couldn't sleep uh, to eventually slowly getting back to some semblance of normal. Um, and now, four years later, I, uh, yeah, I went back to, you know, coming back, skipping ahead, but I went back to school part-time and I stayed part-time through my time at the University of Texas. And um, now, four years later, I'm, I have a, you know, a full-time job and uh, I still deal with symptoms, still get headaches, have pains and get dizzy, but I've done a few things that have definitely helped me. Um, I would say one, uh, and I've heard some people talk about that with brain injuries is a ketogenic diet. I kind of kept that before the injury. So when I had the injury um, in the hospital, I couldn't keep that because, you know, you just get whatever, you're just happy you can eat <laughs> at that point. But after, I think that definitely helped. Um, another thing I did was I went to a place called Austin Muscle Restoration. And uh, if you're in the Austin area, I highly recommend them. Um, their uh, head trainer, I guess you could say, or therapist, his name is Brandon O'Connor. And he really helped me uh, with my dizziness because I used to get, and I still do sometimes, but for the most part, it's, it's gotten a lot better, a really bad vertigo. And we did a lot of interesting stuff to try to get my nervous system back to where it was before. Um, and I'd say, um, I don't know if I'll 100% get there, but I'm definitely gotten a lot better. Um, another thing I would say is sleep and recovery. You know, when, uh, when you see your child go through that, sometimes there's a tendency to, after they look fine, you know, they're not in the hospital, to assume that they can go back to doing everything they could before. Because, you know, on the outside, and a lot of people, a lot of people that would just look at you or look at me and think, oh, he's totally fine. 
but that's not 100% the case. So definitely resting and giving your body the ability to rest. And as a caregiver, being understanding that, you know, while this person that you've known forever may look fine on the outside, on the inside, they're definitely struggling with um, fatigue, uh, maybe anxiety. I know I had a lot of anxiety at the beginning and still to some extent a little bit, but uh, around health, you know, you start thinking a lot about your health. You start thinking every little pain, you're like, oh no. Um, I remember I was swimming and my brother accidentally hit me in the head and I freaked out because, you know, it's the head again. Uh, but I ended up being okay. And I think over time, um, I worked with a, a therapist. Um, you slowly get out of that mindset. But definitely as a, as a parent, you have to understand that, you know, um, your child or if it's a friend, your friend is going to go through this and they're going to have these things that they didn't have before. But over time, they'll definitely improve and get better. And I think not only my experience, but my experience um, talking to a lot of people through the Team Loop podcast um, has definitely shown me that you know, people that you have even worse injuries than me, uh, they're doing a lot better. And it's just a, it's a time and commitment to improving. Um, I think is the most important, most important thing. So, so I gotta say, um, and yeah, thank you for listening. And I hope this helps, helps all of you all out there.